Hey guys, XR Hammer here, and we are playing Warframe again. And if you remember in my last Warframe video, I said I was going to go over how overpowered Ember Prime is. And also, with the release of Hydroid Prime, I'm going to be doing today some relic hunting and showing off just how overpowered Ember Prime is via the Orokin Derelict Survival. So, yeah, we'll go over the build quickly. It's nothing special. It's um, Steel Charge for extra melee, just mainly because it's my strongest aura mod. I've got Power Drift on there, Intensify, Streamline, Continuity. I have got Prime Continuity, but as you can see, Ember Prime's capacity is full. And I don't really see, at the minute, where I can um, make any cuts to put it on there, but I will do when I form her later on down the line. I've got stretch for ability range, which is always nice on Ember Prime. Vitality, steel fiber, prime flow for energy, and redirection for shield capacity. I am running the heck, which I have put a Orokin Catalyst on. And now I've managed to get Hell's Chamber on there, which is an absolutely awesome mod for shotguns and yeah as you can see the damage reflects really well yeah and I'll be using the heck just to get rid of the ancient healers and disruptors I did get the Azima for the 100 day login reward but I wasn't recording when I got it typically so but yeah here it is it's not a bad weapon I mean I have a lot to do to it to make it a good weapon as it's unranked but yeah we'll see where we go with that and same as the last video I'll be using the war just because the war looks amazing and it's huge so yeah without further ado let's um, get into oh wrong one ah it's one thing I'll go over with you guys extractors they are fantastic and if you have them and you've completed you have to complete every mission on a planet in order to put them down but I really do recommend you get them down because sometimes like on Jupiter you can get neural sensors I do believe the maximum amount I've I've received is 13 neural sensors which is quite a lot so yeah just remember it takes a minute just come on throw an extractor down and there we go it's done so yeah, always keep that one in mind. And yeah, let's go over to here. It's the Orokin Derelict Survival. I've crafted seven keys so far just because I've been working. So I haven't had chance to just sit here crafting keys all day. And yeah, we'll get straight into it. And yeah, we'll cover just how overpowered Ember Prime is. Mainly her fourth ability, World on Fire. Because you can just cast it and everything dies pretty much that's not joking either everything dies and I'm assuming as I get better mods yeah mainly better mods Ember will just be way too overpowered and she'll just kill everything let's just do that quick and yeah wait for everything to come I didn't really want to run through that. But yeah, we'll just try and build up some energy. I'll just get rid of that as I really dislike laser plates. As I always manage to die when there's one around. And that is a dead end. May as well open these stuff up. I will be doing a video later on about how good the derelict places are to farm in because they are just fantastic you can get so much loot with minimal minimal effort and as you can see they've all lined up nicely for me that's nice of it so yeah it won't be anything special just me hacking stuff to bits with the war until I feel like I've got a sufficient amount of energy and then we'll show you just how overpowered Ember Prime really can be mainly as I said, with that fourth ability. Because it's just crazy. 
just crazy especially as I've got stretch on her so her range is just phenomenal with it you can kill enemies well before they come into melee range like easily before they get into melee range so yeah but at the minute my life support is um, dwindling down so yeah we'll use this area as a nice kill box oh there's a cavat here And yeah, guys, if there's any other frames, which hopefully I have, I can do builds on them, overviews, anything you'd like me to do, really. I can do them, providing I've got the frame. And if not, then I'll just have to uh, go farming for the frame, which I don't mind doing either, as Warframe at the minute has got to be just my go-to game. It really is an amazing game, in my opinion. I mean, your opinions might differ, but if you haven't checked it out, I would highly recommend that you do go and check it out because it's just so much fun to play. And yeah, we've got, we'll go and find a nice open area, which is not that way, as that's a dead end. We'll find a nice open area, might even get some more energy by that point. Oh, there's a spore culture here. 190 nano spores. So yeah, let's just um, open this just in case. Because I've had it happen to me quite a few times where I've just paid no attention to my life support whatsoever. And yeah, you end up dying. Which is not great. There is a cephalon fragment there. We'll get that quick before we get eaten by these. Right, I think it's about time to use this ability. Just watch, everyone. Everything is dead. It's that easy with Ember Prime. Look, everything is dying over there. It's still dying through the door. I can literally stand here and do nothing if I so chose. But yeah, just run in here, get the energy, get the life support, and that's about it. That is about it. Let's uh, just shoot some Azimas out. The secondary ability, just because. Why not? And uh, yeah, that's it. This is why Ember Prime is so overpowered. And Ember, in all fairness, I mean, obviously the Prime versions of any frame is better. But even standard Ember, she is still... When I first got her, I can remember getting her, I just played Ember. Nobody else. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. Some might say it gets boring, but it really didn't. It never gets old. Just running around, look, and everything dies. It's absolutely fantastic. The only irritating thing about it is you have to go running around for all your loot. But... It's really not a problem. Ooh, a celery. Let's see if I've scanned enough of these. No, I have not. Look at that, what a bonus. I do believe these are, yeah, Orican cells. Yeah, look, everything, apart from these guys, these guys are nuisance, but we can quickly dispatch them. And yeah, what we're aiming for are the Hydroid Prime relics. I know my Hydroid still isn't maxed, but when I've got a bit more time, I shall buy some boosters, and I'll really set two on it. Oh, Eczema, sir. But yeah, this is Ember Prime. She's just so overpowered. Just run around, and everything dies. Nice and simple. Oh, hello. Thank you very much. I was coming this way anyway. And yeah, as you can see as well, the loot, this is with no boosters on, and the loot is just phenomenal. And yeah, if you guys want to play, if you already play Warframe and you want to just have a good session, go farming for 
anything, really. I mean, just um, leave a comment down below. Send me your uh, username and yeah, we can go from there. So always playing with other people is fun. That cavat was very speedy. But yeah, guys, this is this is it. I need to find there's a healer somewhere. Oh, there's two healers. That's why nothing was dying. But yeah, this is it. Like, it's just so easy. Everything is so easy with Ember Prime. Oh, that cavat. There we go. He's dead. There's another healer here. Oh. And there's another one there. There's, there seems to be a lot of healers. Much to my dislike, as I want everything to die quickly, not take forever to die. And I'm sure I've missed a lot of loot, but I shall come back this way. And for now, if I can try and keep mobile, then hopefully it'll be more of the, let's say, lesser enemies that get to me first, as they tend to move quicker. And the uh, disruptors and healers and brood mothers, all of that sort of stuff, will just stay well away from me. And everything will die much quicker, and I can just deal with them as and when. Yeah, let's um, explore the map a little bit. I don't really think this is um, going to have very many open areas, if I'm completely honest with you. But we can have a look. I mean, for me personally, open areas are so much better. I'm assuming everybody who plays Warframe would agree. Because farming in tight spaces... Oh, I've got the Azima on. That's why he didn't die straight away. Um, yeah, it's, it's not for me farming in tight spaces. I don't like it. But, again, that just boils down to personal preference. Oh, look at that. I think the Kavat must get like a um, hidden buff of like gravity mode or something because they just zoom around the map as if it's like low gravity. But yeah, we'll try and go uh, 20 minutes or so. We'll see. Depends how um, well I can actually do. Life support incoming. And yeah, this will be, I wouldn't say it's going to be my main farm for the relics, but I know you can get all of them on here. It's just potluck. Really, it'll be as and when they drop. So yeah, this place is getting a little heated and there's disruptors everywhere and healers and yeah, I'm not a fan of either of those two. Let's go down here. We'll just activate this one just for why not. There's another healer. And yeah, let's go back up here. And which way was it? Did I go this way? Yeah, I think it was this way. There's um, items on the floor. Good old loot. Death orbs. Beautiful. I got a H1. See, I can't remember which of the relics that I need, but I'm pretty sure there are no lift ones for Hydroid. I just went over. Aha. There's one. Just one, apparently. Oh, there's a mod in here, some more nanospores. I mean, for looting, the derelicts, in my opinion, have got to be one of the best places because they just drop so much stuff. And quite a lot of different things they drop as well. It's not just the same stuff. Eximus, there we go, he's dead. And if you guys have noticed, like I have, my energy hasn't really gone down as such until this Xmas just jumped on my head but 
that was just unnecessary and unwanted, really. Additional life support has <clears throat> Here he is. Let's get rid of him. There we go. See, her energy providing... Well, I mean, as you can see, everything just dies. Pick up the energy. It's that simple. It really is. Absolutely fantastic playing as Ember Prime. One of the best purchases I made on this game, in my opinion. And, yeah. We'll make a move up this way. Get rid of the healers. Yeah, this one, I'm not going to lie, this is going a lot better than my last couple of runs. My last couple of runs, I was just getting swarmed by mainly the small ones, but I wasn't using Ember. I can't remember who I was using, and yeah, it just wasn't going very well for me. I had to extract 10 minutes in, 15 minutes in, it just wasn't great. So when I decided I'd be playing as Ember this time, I knew it was going to be a good run. And yeah. Let's go again. There we go. Healers are down. And yeah, the rest of them are under me, I believe. Oh. Well, there we go. He's dead anyway. Um yeah, and I still have basically max energy. And all I've cast ability wise is World on Fire. And that is it. I've not used same map. I know she's got Fireball and Ah, it's called Accelerant. We've got Fireball, Accelerant and Ring of Fire, I believe. I'm gonna have to double check that. I'll check it in a second once I've got rid of these irritating disruptors and healers. Let's get rid of the mutilist dust spray before it starts putting toxin down and then I die through toxin damage which happens quite a lot and I've just noticed my life support is running rather thin because I can't really find a decent place to farm but we'll go and get one of these life supports Just to, well, I might get two actually, just to keep it afloat. I mean, that's what they're there for. Life support so, may as well utilize them. Oh, another spore culture there. 550 nanospores. I mean, it costs two and a half thousand nanospores per key. So, just the fact that you can easily pick up. Two and a half thousand nanospores on a derelict map easily. So, what you're spending to make the key, you can easily get back. And as I was previously saying, the toxin will literally be the death of me. It always is. I can't seem to avoid the toxin clouds, I just can't do it. I always end up running straight into them and then. That's it. That is it. It's basically game over. Every single time. I suppose that's something I need to work on, really. But, yeah, a V5. Neo V5. I'm pretty sure that is not one I need. And like I said earlier, it really is just potluck with what you're going to get. I mean, you can't really choose what you're going to get. Obviously, otherwise the game would be very unfair and everybody would be running around with Hydro Prime right now. I mean, unless you're willing to buy him, which I'm not. I'm not going to lie to you. It's uh, rather expensive for what it is. I mean, yeah, you know, it's a prime frame. People can farm, like myself, for days just to get one of each relic. So, if they made it too cheap to buy, everybody would be buying it. Not everybody, but you get what I mean. I hope. If not, then ask me in the comments and I will fully explain what I mean. But, yeah. 
for now, this has turned out to be a really, really good run. I've not gone down as of yet. There's always time. But, the enemies are drying up for some unknown reason. Normally, I'm getting swarmed constantly. And they never let up. Never. But today, for some unknown reason, it's just giving me a lot of disruptors. And healers. Which is why I brought the heck along. Ow. That was not very nice. Should really have gone over my um, Carrier Prime mods and everything else. But again, at the minute, as I've not long been playing the game, uh, nothing special. I've been playing the game 100 days. It's... It's long enough. I know 100 days sounds like a lot, but in terms of being able to farm and get all of this stuff, it's not really. Because 100 days I've logged in, yeah, I wouldn't say I've got 100 days of solid gameplay. Or game time, should we say. It's definitely nowhere near 100 days worth of time, let me assure you. Actually, we'll go and check when I finish this. Might make the video slightly longer, but hey, it's all good. It'll give you guys something to watch while you're um, doing nothing, I suppose. Let's make sure we keep our life support up. And um, yeah, let's start making our way towards extraction. Extraction is right there. We'll not make our way towards extraction as that was extremely close and I didn't quite realize it was there Oh, that is an Eximus and we don't like Eximus because they drain our energy and I've just noticed I'm down to a Nowhere near enough energy Just no, I've never enough run out of energy Which is not a good thing but, we'll work around it, I suppose. If I could land my shots on this healer, we would definitely work around it. And there's an Eximus. Let's uh, use this crazy thing, the operator, as everything just seems to die in front of you. It's fantastic. That Eximus has got way too much health. Because that took way too long for him to die. Let's knock everybody over. Oh no, because that didn't work. And I got the toxin damage. Let's um, retreat a little bit. My tactics are normally, once I start taking any form of significant damage, or I'm going to, is just run. Run away. Run away, find somewhere else to hide, essentially. Especially when you have no energy. But... In Warframe, as long as you stay mobile, you can survive for a, a long time, in my opinion. If the minute you start standing still, and yeah, that's when you're going to die. Or when you get randomly attacked with Toxin. That's going to kill you as well. Which, like I told you all... For some reason, I cannot avoid them. I just got the Octavian Eroptics blueprint. Well, that's not that bad. Right, let's uh, pick up this Ayrton Star. And we will end it here with a nice fire blast. That's what I called the Ring of Fire, but evidently it's not. So my apologies there. Oh, why on earth has he run all the way around there to get to me when he was stood in front of me? Like he wanted to do a part marathon for no apparent reason. Right, I am going to get out of it. Just one little pop shot for fun. And there we have it. But yeah, look at the loot. More than anything, 7,000 nanospores so I can craft nearly three keys off one run. Which is just crazy. I got a new road. Oracle Cell, a nav coordinate. I got a Lafantis nav coordinate. You'll have to let me know down in the comments if you want me to 
record me killing Lephantis. Which is pretty easy. I've done it a few times, but I haven't recorded it. And yeah, let's go check. I'm pretty sure the relics I picked up are not the ones I need. I should really write them down somewhere and actually um, get excited when I find one. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming not. It's not looking good. Nope. So that was a uh, bit of a dud run. I need... Which one is it? Is it VS8? Yes, VS8. I'm going to write these down after... The H1. I know I need an Axie one, but I believe I already have one. In here. Not the Axie, my apologies. The Neo H1, but I know I need an Axie one. And if I'm honest with you, where I am in the game doing Axie fissures don't come around very often I need to really crack on and get ahead of the game uh, that's the one the N4 relic and um, yeah what were we going to do I completely forgot Operator, Audius wonders what are you thinking about um da -da -da -dum. yeah we'll go over Carrier Prime, I said I was going to do that. We've got Guardian, which boosts the only shield by 100% when it runs out. Enhanced Vitality, which is just for the Sentinel armor. This is mainly, like I said, I've just thrown a load of stuff on here that do really nothing. It's got Vacuum on it because that's always handy. And this was the main thing I'd put on there. Animal Instinct for plus 30 loot radar, plus 18 enemy radar, which is, it's not a bad mod, it's good, it's good if you go looting a lot like I do, I'm a sweeper, I'm pretty sure I've paid really no attention to any of this and just thrown loads of stuff on, just because, why not, but yeah, realistically, I should have a look and sort out my carrier prime, because... I've just sort of not done anything to it, which is bad on my part, but yeah, let's go into where it is, my world on fire, with the mods that I've got on, it does 580 damage, which, as you guys seen, how often it actually goes off with a range of 21.75 meters, it's just crazy without mods it does 400 damage which still if you're running around with no mods on yes it takes three energy per second as opposed to 1.62 but it's still manageable you can still just run around and annihilate everything literally everything as you've seen in the video so yeah it's definitely worth getting normal ember and ember prime but yeah, I'll quickly go over my frames. I've still got Ash Prime to max out and former later on down the line. I've got Atlas, which I really do enjoy playing as Atlas. I feel like he needs a bit of a buff or a slight change to his abilities because some of them, like his uh, Petrify, I just don't use it myself. I don't see the point in using it. It's just... Pointless, in my opinion. His rumblers are very good. His landslides good. And his tectonics you can use on certain maps just to uh, funnel the enemies more than anything. It just funnels them all into a straight line and you can just open fire. Um, that was the wrong button. But yeah, and that was the wrong button. I'm doing brilliant so far. We've got... Banshee Prime, Ember, Ember Prime, Excalibur, Frost Prime, Hydroid, which I still need to max, Loki, Mag Prime, Mesa, Necros, Necros Prime, who I haven't touched yet, 
because I forgot I had crafted him. Which is very silly on my behalf, but yeah, I should be ranking Necros up as well. I've got Nidus, Oberon, Oberon Prime, Rhino, Rhino Prime, Sarin, Sarin Prime, Trinity Prime, Vorban, Volt and Volt Prime at the minute as it stands. So if you'd like to see any videos or builds or anything on these Warframes that I have here, then just leave a comment down below. And I will try my hardest to get some decent gameplay to you. And yeah, that just about wraps it up guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to uh, like, subscribe and hit that bell button. And I shall see you in the next one. Peace out guys.